This is a Lexus RX 450H, it's a 3.5 SEI uh, with a CVT gearbox. It's 2010 on a 10 plate and has done 89,586 miles. Um, urban fuel economy, remembering this is uh, it's a big engine. Urban 42.8, extra urban 47.1 and uh, combined 44.8. 0 to 60 turn of 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 124 miles per hour with a, a 249 brake horsepower engine. Um, one registered owner. It's got we, we, a Lexus service history. It uh, was serviced at uh, 12,194 in March 2011. 27,123 in March 2012, 40,904 in March 2013, 57,206 in May 2014, 67,806 in uh, June 2015. Then there's a gap uh, till it was serviced in on the 18th of August 2017 at 86363. So it was only serviced uh, 3,200 miles ago. We're not sure about the, the service in between. Um, it's done on mileage, but the, the chap has previously had it done every 12 months religiously. So at this moment, we're, we're trying to establish whether it has been serviced somewhere else um, and it's, the, the book's just not been stamped. But uh, at the moment, I would just take it as a, a Lexus service history with six Lexus stamps, and that's them there. Uh, hopefully you can see that from this camera. Now it's an unusual thing, of course, with it being hybrid. At the moment, we, we're ready to go, and there's no noise whatsoever. The only noise I can hear is from the uh, from the fan, um, which if I it's just deadly silent, um, and, and it's. A, Here we go. The click you hear is the doors automatically locking. But uh, It's so strange. I'll just take it up the dual carriageway. But uh, Lexus have a, a fantastic reputation, uh, very reliable, uh, great spec, got just about everything you need reversing camera, xenons, headlamp wash. It has this. Uh, mouse thing here which uh, I'll try and work out there's the menu switch so you've got Navi and there the pointer climber audio setup let's just have a look at info now the enter button is on the side so telephone fuel consumption feels like the tracking may be out a, a little bit uh, but it's not been in our workshop yet and uh, we will get that we will get that done so that's showing the past record the previous miles to the gallon obviously it's showing there uh, up near 40 miles to the gallon which as I say it's a uh, it's a, it's a big car, it's kind of Range Rover size. So, I'll go to energy. Now, this, I, I quite like this because it shows you all that's putting power back into the 
battery as soon as I take my foot off the accelerator it uh, drives the motors in reverse and like a Formula One car and charges the batteries up and at the moment there we go we'll just get going and of course the engine comes in there CVT gearbox sounds a little bit different than a normal automatic and there you go the, the electric motor was helping out as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator it's charging the battery there the engine's putting using the engine is putting uh, power back into the battery as well just showing there what's how how we're getting along the road, which wheels are being driven. At the moment it's just the front wheels. We've got an eco switch on the on the dash there and it shows you when you're in charge or when you're driving economical. I don't know where uh, Probably not many people will remember, but um, when I was a kid, there used to be a program called UFO. And, uh, the boss of Shadow, Ed Straker, had a, a car which sounded very much like this when it's on electric. So it amuses me slightly. It shouldn't do, but it does. Great to drive. We've got electrically height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Multifunction. We've got crews down here. Headlights are on the indicator stalk. Wipers are on the right. It's finished in uh, dark blue metallic with black leather. Heated seat. We've got. I think that should be. Power folding door mirrors, electric door mirror switches here, got all sorts of fancy things that only Lexus could think of. Cup holders there, cup holders here. In the front centre armrest, there's a, a kind of a compartment to put your stuff in. You can take that out, and underneath it, there's two 12 volt power switches and also a USB socket. So that's got 
past record of consumption there. Setup. We'll have a look at setup. Clock general. Nothing there, I don't think. Although if we just go to audio, Lexus usually have a, a great sound system in them. That's the Bluetooth audio settings. I think at any time, if you click that, you can go straight to map to the Navi. A um, little bit about Lexus. When they came out, the, I think it was the LS400, it was an absolute revelation. At the time I was working for BMW and uh, the 7 Series, the new 7 Series had just come out. Or the, the, the new model year 7 Series had just come out. And it was towards the end of the 7 Series, that incarnation's life. And um, I think sales were probably dropping off a little bit and BMW arranged for a driving day for all the salesmen. Now, we went to a, a, a lovely place and we got to drive a, a Jaguar, a Mercedes S-Class, the BMW 7 Series and a Lexus. And, you know, we, we drove the Jag, BMW was better. We drove the Mercedes-Benz. Again, the BMW, at the time, uh, marginally, or there or thereabouts with the S-Class. And then we drove the Lexus. BMW was far better. Um, there was four salesmen in the car and we all took it in turns to drive. When it was my turn to drive, uh, something about the car didn't feel right. I pulled up at a lay-by and uh, somebody, and I'm not saying it was BMW, but somebody had taken one of the plug leads off and it was just resting on so it was just slightly missing on one cylinder I put the plug lead back and the Lexus was better than BMW I've, I've not driven a whole lot of um, or, or the recent Lexus, the recent Mercs and the recent BMWs but uh, if it's still the same you'd go a long way to beat the ride quality the reliability uh, the build quality of a Lexus, it uh, was just superb and uh, same with this, been well looked after one owner, this is just how it came in Lance will detail the vehicle, it'll be like new and uh, hopefully, or as you can probably see already, it drives like new <coughs> I'll try and take you to a slightly nicer place than we'd normally go And uh, where it's up in the hills, where it's pretty quiet. Once it goes on to electric, probably can't hear a thing. So we'll go back to menu, info. Again, you, you've got this kind of joystick stroke mouse. You've got menu there, the nav button, and then enter on each side. So with your hand flat on, with, with your hand flat on here, it's very, very good design. You can, you can kind of, <laughs> you, you've got both enter buttons there. You've got the nav button, the menu button, 
and you can also use the joystick with your fingers which again or with, with that bit of your hand and uh, it probably makes more sense because with your hand flat on there the pointer doesn't jump about all over the place and then with your thumb or your little finger you can just uh, click whichever button you need that was quite interesting though we're on the flat and it was on electric as soon as we started going up, up an incline it seamlessly changed to the engine as well and here we are back on battery 30 miles an hour as soon as I let my foot off the accelerator it's uh, it's charging and then in comes the engine Window switches are here. We've got memory seats, I think. Should have checked before we set off. There's certainly electric anyway. Yeah, electric memory seats, so that's set position one. motors assisting the uh, engine again giving you improved fuel economy we've also got here I've, I've driven a Lexus LS200 before that was uh, really really nice when you put it into sport the dashboard changed colour well, I don't know whether this does but we'll see get a blue tinge on the outside and it uh, kicks off you can also change gears from the gear stick down into third there uh, don't want to go too fast along here there's average speed cameras not that I'd uh, break the law anyway to drive there. Can't remember the mention but it was reversing camera. Alloy wheels. It's got um, power close tailgate. wide ledge here to rest your arm lovely big front central armrest very comfortable seats see if there's anything else or the, a bit of lumbar support anywhere yep we've got a little switch at the back here yeah there's some lumbar support it's uh, inflating the cushion in the back there This 
steering wheel slightly off centre, so uh, that would point to the tracking. Which I'll report to the workshop when we get back and we'll get that sorted. Kestrel there, hopefully we'll get a shot of that. Low flying Kestrel. Another uh, beautiful part of the country. <coughs> a few lights uh, just come on. Uh, many people watching these videos who aren't necessarily going to buy a vehicle off us but uh, people from all over the world so uh, this is loaded on YouTube if you like the videos if you want to hit the subscribe button and the bell you'll be notified every time we upload a, a video we do all our stock and we try and do test drives as well and information videos uh, tell you how to use it pay your phone or set the sat nav, delete a phone, uh, stream music through it. So we, we try and do that for every car we get in stock. And uh, just building up a library to help other people as well. This obviously is a country road, it's very bumpy, as you can see the, the Lexus takes it in its stride, nice and quiet, not being bounced all over the place. again there that was a speed bump back there and, uh, we've got another one coming up here wasn't convinced he was going to stop then. <laughs> <laughs> 